What's up guys? Oh, the start of a new video. I'm going to document this week. Um, catch up to speed on a few things. A uh, lot's happened. Hurricane Harvey has happened to Texas, uh, for starters. And uh, just wreaked havoc. I talked before about Duke. Meet Duke, the happy puppy. It's my buddy. Uh, he's sitting here sucking up some air conditioning. But, um, so this week, it's kind of been on a whim. Last couple weeks, uh, I've really just had it in my head that I needed to, uh, I needed to travel over to Texas somewhere. Uh, I was thinking Houston, but I wanted to go to Texas and uh, drop some stuff off. Um, not to get any kind of uh, praise by any means, but I don't know. I, I, areas like that make me curious. My heart goes out to them. Uh, I remember after Katrina here, um, I mean, we didn't get flooded or anything here, but our power was out. We lost water. We, I mean, we lost a lot of necessities that we're used to having. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it, <laughs> it takes its toll. Uh, we slept out in the yard in the tent uh, and uh, run generators uh, to run small AC units to cool like just small rooms for kids and things like that you know but uh, for the most part we were we were in a bind and uh, it lasted for a couple weeks uh, here it lasted for even longer for others so when you start talking about that they got flooded out now when I finally got to go back to work after Katrina I was on a uh, basically a mud out crew and uh, helping you know water had came up like about four foot or so in, in a lot of people's houses where we were at and uh, we go in and rip out the sheetrock four foot and down um, and some of it we had to rip it all out but nonetheless um, my heart goes out to them I know you know a lot of those people probably lost everything uh, they're struggling right now and they need supplies I remember sitting in line for supplies uh, even where I live and we didn't get flooding we just lost power and we lost drinking water we lost water here so we didn't have any drinking water uh, and if you had a well and you didn't have a generator to run it you know you were kind of in a bind so we were we were really struggling there so getting bottled water getting fuel things like that so I got a I got a friend that uh, I used to work with he is uh, in a motorcycle crew I'll, I'll throw some more details uh, in the in the comments below I may mention it some more later in the video but uh, he's in a motorcycle crew and they do a lot for uh, like toys uh, they do a toy run every year at Christmas uh, for Angel Tree but uh, he is loaning me his 24 foot trailer and um, we got our band trailer but it needs some tires it needs some stuff but he just bought a brand new 24 foot trailer and he offered he said if I would be a chaser in their uh, toy run this year, December, uh, that I could use this truck, you know. I, and I'm sure I didn't have to do it, but it, you know, it's gonna be a fun thing. I'm willing to do that. So, uh, we got people pulling supplies together. I got a guy, another guy I used to work with, Keith Delancey. He is, uh, he had already been kind of working on getting things together, uh, but I think uh, it sounded to me like his trailer situation was kind of up in the air. So, I had a trailer locked down and a truck to pull it. Um, so I told him, uh, uh, f especially after finding out, I, I kind of had a church in mind to go to, uh, but I, I got some information that it took like 15 hours to get to that area from where we live. Um, and I've only got, I've only got like a, two days. So you're looking at a 30 hour round trip, uh, you know, just, just go ahead and call it 36 hours. That's three days. Um, so that's not going to work out but uh, it does not mean it's not going to work out for that particular church that i was planning on going to which is uh actually reaching out and they are working as a mud out crew um so we are i'm going to look into setting up like a, a wish list on amazon prime to where you can purchase things and have them shipped to them um uh, to their uh relief area uh, location to their church so uh, I'll talk more about that later but we we chit chatting on that on messenger uh, my heart goes out to them I wish I could get to them in, in the amount of time and I tell you what if I didn't have to be at work uh, next Monday morning I promise you I would uh, I wouldn't even think twice about it but uh, I've got one of those jobs I don't have a choice I have to be there uh, so I'm not gonna be able to leave out till Friday afternoon 
and it's going to be a straight drive over. Uh, we talked about sleeping at somebody's house that didn't take you on any water, um, but me and my wife will probably just uh, we'll probably just turn and come straight back. But uh, hey, buddy, Duke's very playful. But that's what's going to happen this week. I'm going to document some of this stuff, get some photos when I'm over there. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys, it's heartbreaking. Uh, and I'm not doing this so much for entertainment. Uh, I'm really documenting um, because I know what they're going through. And to be honest with you, there is a hurricane headed toward us right now. Uh, I could be the next one needing supplies. So my heart goes out and uh, I'm always willing and ready if I'm able to, uh, to help anybody in need. And be honest, good Lord just put it on my heart and, and, and burdened my heart and uh, basically told me that, you know, I've given you all this, use it. So I'm gonna do just that. So I'm gonna catch some footage this week and I don't wanna bore you to death with all my talking. I know my last few videos have been uh, very boring. So hopefully we'll get some action in. There's just been a lot of life happening, man. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, it's just crazy. My house got, well, Whew. Someone stole something from me uh, while my house was being worked on. Um, I about got my house back together. That turned into a nightmare that I was showing you before. I'll show you some clips of that later. Uh, but yeah, Whew. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm ready for my life to get back into order. But what's up, Duke? Say, like, what's up, Duke? What's up guys? It's uh, Tuesday, the Tuesday before we go over to Beaumont. Uh, I know uh, yesterday I, I might have spoke of going to Houston, but plans changed. Uh, I won't have time to go that far. So we're going to Beaumont and uh, I got to work today and I sent out an email to a whole bunch of people and, and I just wanna, if you look over my shoulder there, my back seat at the moment is full of stuff and that's just from the first day. Uh, I'm assuming the rest of the week there's gonna be quite a bit more people. I'm so proud of the company I work for and the people. I got some good folks that I work for. Just rolled in to pick up some more supplies. Got some blankets, some water, some bleach. Uh, my whole back seat's full of stuff. But I uh, just wanted to show you as I go. Uh, if you're watching this and you've contributed already and, or you're going to, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm also uh, linking up, not only are we going to uh, the church that we're going to is Westgate Memorial Baptist Church, and they're kind of heading up the uh, the mud out uh, in their area. Not only are we going there, uh, whatever room we've got left in the trailer Friday before we go, uh, I talked to, <clears throat> forgive me, I wrote it down at work, but uh, Ad In Advertising is kind of heading up this bucket challenge where they're uh, they're taking like 50 bucks and. And, uh, and a five gallon, filling a five gallon bucket up with supplies and they're hauling them over. And uh, turns out that they had a, a big truck uh, gonna haul a bunch over and the truck broke down, had some issues, so they're looking for extra people. So what we're gonna do Friday, what I'm gonna do Friday, Friday morning after I get everything loaded and done, uh, whatever room we got left, I'm gonna drive to uh, Ocean Springs and uh, get with them and we're gonna fill the rest of our area, rest of our trailer with buckets. And I'm gonna be delivering the buckets to uh, the Chamber of Commerce inside in Beaumont. Um, so that ought to be cool. Uh, I'm gonna document as much as I can. Uh, this is probably gonna be a pre-video uh, just to let everybody know what we're doing. And uh, if you're just tuning in, basically Hurricane Harvey has come in and it's devastated Houston and it's devastated, well, not just Houston. Uh, it's almost like Katrina. I'm not just going to talk about Houston. It has devastated uh, Southeast Texas. I mean, Southeast Texas has been underwater. And here we are, you know, what, 10 days in or something like that. So uh, these people need help. Uh, me personally, when Katrina come through, I lost power. We lost power and water and, you know, the obvious things. But we're up in the country. We didn't have, we didn't have uh, flooding. I, live, I actually live on a, a hill. If it floods at my house, we're all doomed. Uh, but I didn't have any kind of flooding or anything like that. But I, it was still a very heartbreaking situation. Uh, I had a, had a small child. I can't imagine people with small kids down there right now. Uh, I had a small child, 
you know we made arrangements that worked out but anyway we're going to Beaumont uh, Westgate Memorial Baptist Church uh, you can look them up um, check out their website uh, their immediate needs I'll post it below in the comment section uh, if you see this this, this is gonna be a short video uh, but we're gonna get I got a 24 foot trailer that's being loaned to me by uh, uh, Tommy Langley a uh, friend of mine a guy I've worked with in the past he called me the other night and said hey look I bought this brand new trailer he said and I want to let you use it so I'm gonna hook up with him borrow his trailer Keith Delancey uh, a fellow employee he's retired now but I, I've worked with him in the past and uh, he's gonna go with me he's helping pull together supplies also so we're headed to Beaumont and we're gonna do what we can you know as an individual you can't change the world but you know you can do something you can you can you can help just a little if we would all just help a little that would make all the difference in the world thanks guys see you in a little bit